On February 7, 1996, Concorde made the fastest transatlantic commercial flight from New York to London in 2 hours and 52 minutes. But the era of Concords has passed, and now such a trip takes 7 to 8 hours. Can we ever beat this record? It sounds crazy, but it looks like we have a chance to fly much faster than Concorde at 3,000 miles an hour, six times faster than today's aircraft. How? We will tell you about it in this video. Quarter Horse is not just a prototype of a hypersonic aircraft, it is a revolution in aeronautics. Its creators, the Hermius Company, position it as a dual-use product. Modifications of the project will be used by both military and civilian airlines. And yes, in addition to multi-million dollar contracts with the US Air Force, Hermius has been working closely with NASA for three years now to create a commercial hypersonic aircraft with speeds of Mach 5 and above. So, a flight from New York to London in 90 minutes could soon become our new reality. Moreover, they have the funds and opportunities for this. But why does it deserve so much attention? To begin with, the design of the quarter horse itself is both simple and effective. This is the tube around which the fuselage is built, and at the distal end of which is the engine. The air is taken through the nose of the airplane, where it enters the Chimera hybrid engine, which uses this air to boost the pressure of air and fuel in the combustion chamber. When compression is activated, the aircraft accelerates to simply breathtaking speeds. This is, in fact, a project that has combined the best achievements of modern aircraft construction. The Hermius engineering team claims that they have not invented anything new, but simply used existing technologies to which they make some upgrades. The most striking example is the very advanced hybrid engine, which is a redesigned version of the Pratt & Whitney J58 engine, which has a top speed of Mach 3. You must admit, for a project with such ambitions, such figures are very small. Therefore, they decided to boost the engine. The problem was solved as follows. The engineers replaced the afterburner in the J85, completing the design with several air ducts. Thus, the engine received the possibility of significant acceleration upon reaching Mach 3. This above-mentioned improved version was called Chimera. Chimera is a unique engineering solution. Depending on the decrease or increase in speed, the mechanism is able to smoothly switch between a ramjet engine and a turbojet. This allows the plane to take off, pick up speed, and then slow down for a safe landing. The company has already conducted ground tests of the Chimera engine and is now announcing full-fledged flight tests of its offspring. They plan to reach a speed of Mach 5 and above, which is 3,000 miles per hour or 4,828 kilometers an hour in European measurement system. These are fantastic figures, and over the past couple of decades, not a single aircraft has reached such a speed. Oddly enough, it can only be compared with the X-15 rocket plane, an antiquity from the 60s. Its speed record was max 6.7, or 4,520 miles per hour, 7,274 kilometers an hour, at an altitude of 19 miles. Yes, these are worthy indicators, but let's be honest, the rocket plane is significantly different from the quarter horse, and it differs in literally everything, from the idea to the implementation. It could not even take off on its own, and was more of a manned cruise missile, which suffered from several technical problems. X-15 was not intended for reusable use. The skin of the rocket plane was mercilessly heated. In some places, the maximum temperature reached 1,202 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is worth noting that quarter horse developers also faced a similar issue. Their plane, without leaving the atmosphere, heated up to 3,632 degrees Fahrenheit. However, modern technologies quickly helped to address this problem. The engineers replaced the skin material with an ultra-resistant one. What was a technological dead end at the time turned out to be nothing more than an annoying hindrance in the present world. If the quarter horse is the project created to test the Chimera engine in all operating modes and Mach numbers, then the Halcyon will be the modification with the ability to carry passengers. Hermius claims the Halcyon is a passenger aircraft capable of flying over 125 transoceanic routes at hypersonic speeds. Not much is known about it, but it is already clear that a civilian hypersonic aircraft will be very different from the usual designs. Even outwardly, it looks more like a space shuttle than an airplane. Due to high temperatures, Halcyon's engineering department does not include portholes. They will be replaced by cameras and built-in screens. What is more, due to the need to maintain aerodynamics, the capacity of the aircraft is much lower. Only 20 passengers can fit in the cabin. Whether there will be a pilot on board is also unknown, since the original quarter-horse project is completely autonomous. 
The scope of this project is already known. OBS announces the first flight of a new aircraft in 2024 and invites viewers from all over the world to join the online broadcast of this significant event. And if these tests are successful, supersonic passenger transportation will be one step closer to us. Subscribe to our channel as we will definitely tell you about all the technological innovations in the world.